And and speaking of my brother, um, and him and I have had this conversation on this show before, so it's it's not like a big secret. But my brother grew up rough. We grew up in the same household, same mother and father, um, in the same space. But he took the the road of the street, the path of the street. So he had a very hard upbringing with the violence and the the anger. Um, and he was embedded in that. So I totally agree when you speak of his transformation because it was a big shift. And we were talking earlier, you know, maybe we can say it was through age. Maybe as he got older, he kind of mellowed it out. Maybe <laughs> because he had kids, he mellowed out. But I really think it was due to the transforming of his mind. Yeah. But not everyone does that. Yeah. You, you know, and and <laughs> poor Lee, like using him as a case study. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but I think of uh the that it wasn't in 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 my thinking that it wasn't yeah. magic. That yeah. he I mean it, it, there was maybe there was grace there, there was support of a community, there was like something, there was an influence uh yeah. from others that may have helped him. And he did it himself. Like he found, mm -hmm. uh, he he sort of proved this incredible point that every one of us has the capacity to uh, awaken to some truth, right? Whether whether it's Buddhist or Christian or yeah. Muslim or Jewish, whatever it is, atheist, right? But some kind of truth within us that gives us meaning and hope, and then lends itself to skills to yeah. be able to to ask questions about our own mind and hearts and to transform them from these experiences of suffering to ones of meaning, right? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Now let's, let's talk about it. Now, 